Hello and welcome to this vlog. So in today's video I wanted to make a little bit more of a chill video where I show you some of all the projects that I'm working on. I have quite a few projects going on right now so I thought today would be a good opportunity to just finish some of them off and hopefully get to start some new ones as well. So I'm starting off by cleaning up my desk. This is where I have been piling up all my sewing and knitting and painting supplies. And at this point, I don't even know what I'm working on at the moment and what needs to be put away. So I organized everything and left the projects that I'm working on right now or I'm planning to start very soon. I store all my fabric scraps and sewing supplies in this small box. And this is what I'm left with. This small crocheted doily is actually finished, but I want to try and stretch it a bit by wetting it and leaving it to dry. I'm halfway done with this yellow corduroy tote bag that I started sewing by hand, with black thread apparently, because that's all I had. Then I purchased materials for a bag that weren't exactly what I thought, so I'll see what I want to do with that later. Here is my current knitting project, which is a dark yellow wrap sweater, and this is the bottom edge of it. Finally, on the right, I have the supplies for a painting I'm going to make using colored inks, but I haven't started that yet. So the first thing I'm going to get out of the way is this crocheted piece, and I'm just drenching it in water and then laying it out on a towel using pins to stretch it out. I'll let this dry overnight, if not longer. Then I did some work on my sweater. I don't know if you'd call it that or if it's more of a top, but anyway, I'm using size three needles, which is quite small. And I got the pattern from a Norwegian company and I'll link that below in case you wanna see it. Knitting has become one of my absolute favorite hobbies and there are so many cute patterns out there to make. In Denmark, it's become really popular among young people actually to knit and sew, probably because of the quarantine. One of the ways I stay motivated to do stuff during the day is by switching between projects and trying not to sit still with the same thing all day. Do you ever have one of those late nights by yourself where you suddenly feel the urge to hand sew an entire bag? Yeah, probably not. And I honestly regret it because now I have to sew through two layers of thick canvas for the lining and my fingers are not having a good time. I mean, I consider myself pretty patient, but not this patient. Okay, so it's late afternoon now and I've been working on the projects all day. Um, I haven't quite finished yet, but it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so I'm gonna go see my parents and my siblings and just hang out with them for a few days. So I'll be bringing my knitting and sewing projects with me and hopefully get something done there as well. You can see here my knitting project. It looks like I haven't made any progress. Um, but I swear it's because of the really small needles. But I've almost finished knitting this piece and soon I'll be switching to a different kind of pattern. I'm very curious to see if I have enough yarn because it called for eight of these in the recipe and I already used two so apparently this is a fourth of the entire sweater. That's very interesting. I guess we'll find out. But for now I have to pack my stuff and get going.
good morning. I am back in my apartment now and it was really nice to be with my parents uh, yesterday. So I think my plan for today is knitting some more. And I've actually wanted to make some wall art for the longest time for our apartment because pretty much all the walls are completely bare and it looks pretty sad. If you saw my video about the largest painting I've ever made, then it's gonna be something like that. So I'm gonna be working on a sketch for that and hopefully plan it all out today. But first, a little more knitting. I love to listen to podcasts or music while I knit, especially when I'm outside. I'm so lucky to have an outdoor space in my apartment and I've really used it a lot these last few weeks while the weather has been good. For this painting, I decided to make a complete sketch first, including colors and line work. I never do this, but I feel like if it's gonna be hanging in my living slash dining room, I want it to look right. I started out with a pencil sketch, taking some inspiration from a Japanese artist. Then using lots of water, I put down a very diluted layer of colored inks. I tried to keep them pretty muted and mix them with gray, but as you can see, some areas got a bit too much color. So I'm really glad I did this test painting and didn't ruin a piece of paper three times as big. Overall though, I'm happy with the combination of green and pink and a tiny bit of yellow. As you can see, the dark parts and very bright parts stand out a bit too much, so I'll change that for the final version. So a project like this is probably not at all what this was intended for, but I couldn't help but bring out my glass dip pen. It's so beautiful and extra, and I don't do nearly enough calligraphy to justify owning it, so I thought, why not? I was really surprised by how well it worked, even though the paper isn't completely smooth. And I could go for a really long time before dipping into the ink again. There was just something very satisfying about using such a beautiful tool. So this is how it turned out, and overall I'm pretty happy with it. The rest of the night was spent watching The Vampire Diaries with my roommate and knitting. So as you can see, I've made a lot of progress on my knitting project, but right now I feel like making some banana bread, so that's what I'm gonna do. I messed something up in the recipe, but it tastes like banana bread, so I'm happy. After having forgotten about this crochet doily for a few days, I finally removed it from the towel and put it between two of my ceramic plates, instead of this piece of paper towel. Now I just need five more of these. It is time to finish this tote bag, and the next step is the straps. I folded the sides in to hide the raw seams and then folded them in half lengthwise to stitch down the side. And this is how they turned out, just long enough to carry the bag over the shoulder. So I decided to add a little patch of embroidery onto my bag and I'm just going to make a really simple design with black embroidery thread and then put it on the front of the bag. You can barely see it but it's a sun over some mountains. But yeah, just very simple, so I'm just gonna work on that, and then I can start assembling my bag. 
I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to embroidery, so I just improvised using black sewing thread for the last half of it because I ran out of black embroidery thread. At this point, I finally caved and decided to use my sewing machine for the rest of this project. I top stitched down the patch and then finally assembled everything with the lining and the straps all sewn in place at once. Okay, so I finally finished this tote bag and it is nowhere near perfect, but um, I think it's gonna work. Yeah, it was mostly just a way to use up um, my leftover fabric. And as you can see here, there are some places where it didn't really match the lining, but I'm happy with it anyway, and I'm sure it'll be useful for carrying around my laptop and whatever. So for my knitting project, I actually got really far. It's quite a bit longer um, than when I started, and I'm actually almost at the point where I can start closing off for the arms and start knitting the sleeves. So I won't be able to finish it for this video, but I'm sure you'll see it in an upcoming one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this more casual format, um, but if you have any questions or ideas for me, leave a comment down below, and otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.